Hello YouTube, I'm out of working on my grungy old, city old, greasy old tractor hood. That's why I got gloves on. You don't want to see my hands. It looks like I stuck my arm up into a stove pipe. You'll, you'll see it when the video comes, all the, when I get to it. Okay. I get a package. Wife, this thing's heavy. It's 10 pounds, 4 ounces. I said, well, that ain't nothing. Remember the one with the 10-pound sledgehammer head and the other hammers and the... It was like 25 pounds of Okay. We just wanted to show you how good it's packed and then we'll unpack it. Okay. This heat shrink tubing. I didn't know for sure until I took the lighter to it. Now, I needed some of this. So how do we all... How do those YouTubers know what we need? I make them think that the little thing inflate your basketball... And I put it on the hoses for carburetor cleaning of my air tank. If, if you've watched me a long time, you know exactly what I'm talking about. My little air tank. And I had the wrong heat shrink tubing trying to make that thing. Because I'll heat shrink tubing it all together and needle into a fitting. And then I'll put epoxy on it. So I needed some this size. Exactly this size. It's like almost an eighth of an inch. So I needed some of this. I have none of this this small anywhere. So uh, there is a note. Uh, I can show this on camera. Hey Jim, here's that pipe wrench. You can have it. I was going to redo a pipe wrench for him. I have too many already. I want to see a scout crafter worthy restoration of it on the YouTube TV. Everett. You didn't know that's his name. That's his first name. Oh, I never did tell him. I had a great uncle Everett that lived in Canada that farmed with my grandfather. They moved up there and they farmed for many years. And my grandmother is from Canada. And... Mr. Pender knows that, the lawnmower guy. Okay, let's get this unpacked. Uh, and then we'll come back. So we don't have to go through all this or whatever. And how does he know I can use these aluminum rods for something? I needed, I'm going to measure these. before. If I come back, these are going to be measured. They might be exactly what I was looking for. I'm hoping they're 5 16 Or just a little over. Stay tuned. Okay, let's go through this quick so in a 15 minute long video. If it is, oh well, if you don't want to watch No, I'm not that way. If you don't want to watch it, you don't have to watch it. Anyway, yes, this is 5 16 rod. I think it is. I measured it. Uh, I needed it for a project. It was either pins and a knife handle or it was... One one thing was I, I wanted to thread something, Luna rod. I wanted to make some little tool or something one day. I, I didn't want to use steel. I wanted to use a Luna rod, so... Uh, this will be used in a project. I know one of these long ones will. Uh, it's like a mini slide hammer. It was it was something in my brain. I have all kinds of things. So there. there there's a lifetime supply of that. We'll move that off to the side over here. Uh, Sharpie Magnum. The big one. Now I have a big Sharpie marker because I just used it to mark on this steel. It's... Who knows where it went, but I, I have a big one, not one this big. Okay, we'll put that over there. Here's, here's what I wanted them to send me. I was going to redo it and send it back. So, I have no idea what the brand name is. But I'm going to do my best to... I know how to make, I know how to redo these pins and I can't tell you. It just comes out. I know how to to make a pin out of a bolt and you round it over and you, after you screw it, it's kind of complicated, but, uh, but I can remake pins. Okay. I get out the little lathe and remake pins if they're not the right diameter. So I do have to take at least this pin out. So I know how to redo them because I want to completely disassemble this. I'm not going to do a quickie tool like I used. I want it to be... Uh, okay, and I did mark these. Yes, I have a use for this. If I'm right, it was a quarter inch and three sixteenths. There's a difference in the thickness. See that? I think there's a difference. Boy, there sure looks like it. What do you think? What about six by four? Yeah, I got to use this for the flat side. Uh, it was an antenna mount or something I was dreaming of. Of course, there's that heat shrink tubing, which I need to hang up before I lose it. That's going to go over there. And I hope I ain't missing anything. Here's a piece of resonance. Is that what they call it? It's even got a little pedal. I used to get these out of gumball machines when I was a kid. This one's made in the USA. Wall scope. 
Yeah, I mean, you just like, you just get stuff kind of like this out of gumball machines. I don't do much uh, electronic work like I did with CV radios and stuff. These are little indicator lights. Let's just get them out of here. Well, let's just take one and get it up close to you. I'm going to have a mess here. See that? So you could actually build uh, an antique police scanner. It had red lights in it. And they were each channel like 10 would go. Suscential. Suscential? Whatever the word is. I can't believe this. I sat there and worked and worked on my garden tractor on the dash. There's these little clips. Okay, where the bolt goes through. And I bet that's quarter inch. That's all I need to do is slide one of these on there. Right? And the dash is already on there. I had to rework one. It's not a J-clip. J-clip was just uh, like a threaded piece of metal on your carpet. Or this has an actual nut in it. Just pack full of them. Look at that. Yeah, this kind of means like the J-clip with a self-threading whatever screw. That would even work. I think they were called something like a J-clip or something. There's even nuts in here for these. So if I spend too much time on here, they are for... Could they be for these? We don't know for sure. We don't know for sure yet. We'll, we'll wait till we need to use them someday. A whole tub full. Here's another one. I've already filled the top off. Here's another one full of goodies. Uh, I used to make antennas and stuff. Need plastic borsters or electrical insulate and ni nylon lock nuts. These things are 10 cents a piece at the farm store. Lady went nuts because I had some mixed in with regular nuts one day. Oh, you can't do that. They were, I think they were probably 14 cents a piece. You can't do that. Those are separate price. 10 to 14 cents a piece. So, look at that. Lifetime supply. Nylon lock nuts. That's what I call them. Nylon whatever. Eh, just get that out of the way. Oh. Here. That'll clean my hands. I use lava bar at the sink. I'll be using this. Because if they're not real greasy and they're mostly dirty when I'm done, like doing Bondo work and stuff, I don't want to use up all my orange citrus hand cleaner. What the heck is in here? Number 12, half inch long. Aha! These might fit in them clips I was showing you. No. I can use this stuff on the garden tractor doing different things. Whole box. How does he know what stuff I need? I sent somebody else package one time. I think maybe. How does he know what I need? Yeah. How many times did I pass up Harbor Freight by an ease I'm just slopping together some epoxy or slapping some wood and paint that don't matter what it looks like. Yeah. How many times I need these from Harbor Freight and haven't got them? Okay. And then in here, there's also a handful, who knows how many of these rocker switches. Are they all the same? Stereo stuff. Shut the power on and off. Uh, my sander went bad. I had to dig and dig through my radio junk to put a switch in my sander. They're 125 volts. Somebody's yelling the neighbor or something, so I'm going to pause so I don't have an embarrassment of somebody having a neighborhood fight. Okay, could be the neighbor kids playing. The babysitter having a scold one of them. Look at that. It's, kind of, it's still got the sticker on it. Ain't that something? Still got the sticker on it? I'm going to scrub this real carefully. I have one right back there for my buffing wheels. And then way back over here in the corner, you've all seen it. That's from my model car paints. I painted just the top of that because it was so original. I just primed the top. That was red, was cheesy, modern knockoff. So it's nothing this quality. This is old quality. Look at that. We're going to think of something special to keep in here. Uh, some specialty tools. Because that's what I like about them boxes. I got my buffing kit. I grabbed my model car paint. I've had that model car box over there for over 20 years. I know I've had it for over 20 years. Jeez, I'm gonna be using this as soon as I'm done today. I pull my gloves off. You'll see. You'll see. I'll, at the end of this, I'll leave you a picture of what I'm doing on a little quick 
clip of the tractor uh, how I took the exhaust pipe out. So you'll see something weird like, what's this picture of? No, it's working on the guard hood of how I filled the hole where the exhaust pipe came through. Ingenious idea. But thank you there, Road King. I can use every single thing you sent me. This may be a while. Uh, with all the garden, this may be a while. This is going to be one of them off rainy days projects uh, to get this done. So we'll snap a photo of some of the stuff like this just for a thumbnail or whatever. So thanks for watching and hope you all enjoyed that. Hey, I forgot something. Look at these sanding sheets. Self sticking. I can put them on a board. See that? Glue on them. Yeah, I'll be using them on my hood. Uh, I don't have a sander to fit them on, but I got a block of wood. I can come up with a block of wood. I have a block of wood where you screw it together. It's it's homemade. You put sanding, sandpaper on. Uh, it's something the old cabinet makers guys did. Made their own little wooden block thing. I wish I could find it. It's made out of maple wood. Yeah. I'll be using these because I got to take all the paint off that hood. When you see the hood, the, well, on the first ones on the hood project, you'll see why. The paint is so thick, I have to take it all off. I'm not going to try to feather the paint. So, there you go. What's that? 36 grit and 80 grit. Yeah. I thought that was packaging material because it was just in there. I thought, you no, know, maybe some cardboard for, you know, it was in there like this. So, I'm glad I remember that. So, yeah. This will make the video a little bit longer. I know you all enjoy it. If you ain't subbed to 805 Road King, well, just type it in. I can give him a link to his channel in my description. But uh, if I don't, just type it in. 